Hello, one of the world. In my Art Forest series, we want to see how to configure our um, site, especially the home page and every other setting. So by the time you're done installing the demo, this is the screen that's supposed to welcome you. On this screen, it shows imported. Look at this place, it shows imported. So this is how you know your demo is uh, ready. Now at this point, let's take a look at our website and see what it looks like. So I head over to visit the website. I open that in a new tab. Okay, we have here our home page, and this is what it looks like. So, here we have a blog post and the sidebar, and all this here. So, this is where we're going to start the customization. To start with the customization, we have to first select our home homepage because we don't like the way this um, homepage is looking. So we head back to our back end. Kindly note that after the demo imports or before then, you might have to install some plugins. Now, to check if all the plugins are installed, click head over to plugins and uh, open um, plugins. In there, you have to check and make sure that all the plugins are up to up to date and uh, are active. So now that we have turned on all the plugins. It's time to start customizing our team and set our site to a functional one. So all these things can be done under team option. So we go to the team options, then we go to general, and this is where the magic begins. So the first thing we do here is head over to our backend. We go to pages. There we're going to choose the home page. We're going to set. For our classified at WordPress site. So the best way to do this is to open each and every home page you have. So from there you choose the one you feel is um best for you. I've actually gone through the home pages one after the other and um for the sake of this uh, tutorial I want to kind of settle with this home model. So this is what we're going to use for our setup. So the rest we're going to um, close. So we go to home model and use this our, as our home page. So to set this page as our home page move over to backend go to settings and readings i want to open that on a new tab and here we need to select a static page by clicking this then we can now select the page if you don't click on this and leave it at the default you won't be any you won't be able to select anything here so you need to check the second option then your home page look for home modern home modern so we'll come back here we go through this so h 
I won't find anything like that. All right, if it doesn't go this way, then we need to go back to the pages. So let's look for um something. Let's look for the home modem here. If we can still find that, then we'll know what to do. All right, so this is the home modem here, even though the title says Almond. So we're going to choose Almond Classified because that will end up being our home modem. So we're going back here, look for Almond, that's it, then post page. Where do you want our post to go to? We go to blog, and that's basically what we do here. So we have to save that change. And when that is done, we go back to our home page. Then we're gonna refresh, and that is how we made, and that is how we choose our home page. So now that we have a home page, it's time to see how things work out. All right, now that we've chosen our home page, the best place to go next is our team options. We can achieve that by going to our back end, appearance, then we open team options. And this is where the tweaking is going to take place. So we're going to go um, into each of these and we're going to make our settings based on what we want our site to look like. Now for better understanding of what we're going to be doing, it's uh, important or it would be nice I turn off every option we have here. As you can see, everything is turned off. When every option here is turned off, this is what we have on our as our home page so what i'm going to do is to turn uh, most of the options on i did pre page loader color palette then admin bar scroll to top bar post sticky button add post sticky button then video icon on ads android app available available then icon position where do you paste this android app availability let me put it at the right display app display text name then app link i think this is the link to download the, the app then default user picks this is the picks that i'll be showing where you can click before you can download the app then the default uh, user picture and uh, when all that is done i'm gonna click on save changes all right settings saved then what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna open the home page on a new tab and when that is done i'm gonna compare that with this uh, home page that I have here when every option was turned off now let's see what happens here this is the preloader can you see the preloader all right now let's begin explaining what we see here. The first thing I want you to notice that this thing here, this one here, this cell, and this back to top button.
they were not available on this page when we turned everything on as you can see so let's go here and begin to explain some of the things we see now if you come to preloader prepage loader that was uh, the ramp thing moving around here when this page was lo loading it actually shows the progress of your page when it's loading and the color palette this, this option you see here takes care of this here you can easily switch the color of your site um, and um, this is not only for the admin I think users also have that option Then team color here we chose green. Of course, you can see green, green, and uh, the prices are green. And this place is green, and that's how we come about that. Now, um, the scroll to top. When you come here. This is the scroll to top here, and um, add. Post sticky button. This is this is that button here. And then um, add post sticky button. This is the button we're talking about here. Okay. Then the video icon on ads. I think this will show video icon whenever you upload an ad with a video. So we don't have that now. Now, sticky icon, sticky icon, Favicon Transport 9 is this icon you see here. Why this uh, text cell comes from this place. Now, Android app available is on, and that's why we have this here then app display text android and that's what we have that's what we have android on that uh on that the on that this icon the app link gives put the link to download your app here then the default user picture is this image you see here this is where you put the url of that image then default user picks whatever you piece to put here becomes user picks um, visible on your site. This takes care of is some of the of the settings we see on this home page. So when that is done, move over to header which is the next one and under this header we have so much so much to talk about here and like I'm, I'm going to be doing in this uh, tutorial the best thing is to turn off every option you see here open it on the on, on, turn it off open the home page then turn it on and uh, still open the home page there you're gonna see the difference so I quickly close the two home pages I have before join me in my next video to see how we're gonna conquer this uh, settings see you